नमस्कार माय नेम इज सुदशील घोष आई एम टीचिंग यू टिंकर कैड वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द ब्रेड बोर्ड हाउ डज द ब्रेड बोर्ड फंक्शन दैट इज व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू सी टुडे दीज लेसन ऑन द ब्रेड बोर्ड आर अ रन अप टू द आर डी नो लेसन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू हैव लेटर ओके सो लेट इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल क्रिएट अ सर्किट यू कैन गो हियर क्रिएट अ सर्किट नाउ and as the circuit is created we can see here that on the left side there we have the working area on the right side we have the components which are there these are the basic components we can have the breadboard here so this is the smaller version of the breadboard there are multiple other versions of the breadboard on tinkercad let us zoom in and we can see now this breadboard is seen to be divided into four different parts this is the first part The first part contains contains two rows. The second part contains various columns, as you can see. These columns are there, and then we go into the third part. Again, this third part is divided into multiple columns, and we can see here that in the fourth part we have two rows again. So this part, the last part, and the first part here, they are identical to each other. of course they are identical to each other and when we actually hover our mouse over these holes here and all of this becomes green what does it mean when all of this becomes green it means they are all holes all these holes are internally connected to each other that means if i connect a positive terminal here suppose a positive terminal of the battery or to this particular hole then it means that there will not be any potential difference across these holes okay they will have the same potential okay again if we point our mouse here they all the column becomes green and therefore it means they are all internally connected to each other again this column is internally connected this column is internally connected this column is internally connected and so on and so forth similarly in the third row here this column this column this column they are all internally connected i can see they are internally connected this column is internally connected to each other but this column is not connected to this column if i want to connect this column to this column then we have to draw a wire between them okay and then this row is not connected to this row because this is not becoming green okay now let us first of all implement a very small circuit that means we will use a resistance we will use a battery and we'll use an led now if i put the led here so what is the implication if i am putting the led here okay what does it mean it means that this anode and this cathode will be at the same potential as we explained earlier they will be at the same potential if there is no potential difference between the anode and the cathode it will mean that the led will not glow in order for the led to glow there has to be a potential difference between these two anode and cathode fine if i want if there is no potential difference here that means i cannot make this connection i cannot make this connection because they are identically connected they are internally connected to each other and they are at identical potentials so let us bring this led here so as we can see here this this these holes are internally connected these holes are internally connected but this column is not connected to this column now let us take the example of a resistor if i make the resistor like this that means there has to in order for the current to flow from terminal 1 of the resistor to terminal 2 of the resistor if the, if i want the current to flow then they have to be at different potentials now if they are internally connected these holes will be at the same potential and therefore the current will not be able to flow so what do i do i can connect my resistor to like this if i do this what is happening this particular terminal is now 
connected with this particular column as you can see okay and therefore if I connect the negative terminal of the battery from here then the negative terminal will be extended to this particular column through the resistance this is what is happening here okay fine if this is what is happening here let us bring in a battery now I want that my negative terminal should be at the top so that the connection is easier so I will just rotate the battery and if I rotate the battery we are now seeing the positive terminal here and the negative terminal here so I connect the negative terminal from here to this particular terminal okay so this particular hole to this particular terminal okay we can extend this okay we go here and we connect it to here right so we can make it beautiful rectangularly no problem now there, there you go so therefore what has happened now the negative terminal is connected to this particular hole and therefore the negative terminal is coming through this particular resistor to this particular column and from here I can connect to the anode because the negative terminal has to be connected to the cathode so I have to connect this to the cathode all right not the anode so I, I mean I will click here and bring it here so therefore now my cathode is connected through the resistor to the negative terminal now how do I connect the anode to the positive terminal so I can actually draw a line straight forward like this or I will make it professional and I will connect this to this particular line all right so I've connected this to this particular line so therefore the entire positive terminal or the entire row here this positive terminal is now connected to this entire row I have to connect my anode to the positive terminal so I just bring click here and I bring my connection here so therefore what has happened now the circuit has been completed okay now if I run the simulation we can see that the LED is glowing now again I will take the example of a potentiometer and you can see the potentiometer has three different terminals and if I connect it like this this is the valid connection because this particular row this particular column is not connected to this particular column and this particular column is not connected to this particular column however if I rotate this and I try to put the connection like this there will not be any potential difference between terminal 1 with the wiper and terminal 2 and therefore this will not be a valid connection the current is not going to flow in order for the current to flow they have to be on two different three different columns as you can see here okay so those people who have enjoyed this video understood this video please like share and subscribe thank you for attending this video